Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's shout out week date number three, a DIY Dollar Tree French country farmhouse bathroom sign. I was directly inspired by Nicole at this week's nest. She is so innovative and creative and Bianca Ann D also inspired me with uh, some of her technique on her general um, store sign. So we're going to use this celebrate sign, but you can use any shape sign you like. Um, I just really like this one. And we're going to use some of this contact paper. This is sort of the French country feel, but you can have other options. You'll see. And we're going to use some chalk paint, homemade chalk paint, Waverly chalk paint. It doesn't really have to be chalk paint either. It could just be white paint. We're going to use the vinyl letters from the Dollar Tree as well as a rubber band. Yep. We're going to use a rubber band. Um, I'm also going to use an awl and a scissor, but I don't mention that. Um, and you don't have to. The awl is optional, and I'll tell you about it when we get there. But the first thing you want to do is this one's going to be so easy. We're not even going to try to take the paper off the front. We're just going to peel the sticker off the back, but that's not easy. I know there are so many wonderful techniques of taking this off. I really got to get myself a hair dryer, but first I got to get myself some hair. <laughs> but... Once you have the entire sticker removed, um, try not to use any chemicals that'll muck up your paint either. Um, I decided to hit it with some sandpaper. On the back of this particular sign was like this red splotch of paint. Um, so I really wanted to get that off right there um, just because we're gonna paint it white and I didn't want any colors coming through. So now we're gonna paint it with the leftover Waverly chalk paint. Now I will tell you that I added water to this so it's very watered down, but I don't, no man left behind as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to get every last drop out of this chalk paint. Um, so I did, it would require normally two coats, but this is an antique sign was inspired by Bianca Ann. Um, the antique look was inspired by some antique shops that she had gone to and it was a really beautiful weathering technique. She did it with um, putting her stickers down, Mod Podge, and then actually sanding off some of the vinyl letters. Um, I used all my Mod Podge on a project you guys haven't seen yet, so I skipped that step. <laughs> I decided to just antique it with paint. Um, so what I did was I did a really thorough coat, but not um, totally full coverage either because it's going to look like a weathered antique sign. I set it off to dry and now we have to figure out the placement of our letters. Now I'm going to teach you this because you could just throw the letters down. Um, but I'm teaching you this because in case you want to make any sign in the future, there's a couple of great techniques here. So I originally was thinking I really wanted to write toilette, which is the French word for toilet because of the French country thing. However, the particular sign that we picked is not long enough. I got everything but the last E on there. Basically it's toilet with a T and an E at the end. Um, so I just stuck with toilet, but you could see me trying it here. So the first thing you want to do when you get started is make sure you pick a sign big enough for what you want to write. <laughs> okay. The next thing is, um, your placement. So I mentioned this in a previous video that you want to go ahead and cut your letters out so you can lay them out and place them, um, accordingly. And then you can, uh, not only place them ahead of time, but you'll see here, what I'm doing is I'm placing them the spacing that I want them to be. And then I'm using that to measure where the center of this word will be. Now, because it has an, a big O and the letters are kind of wide, but it also has an I, you would think that the center would like be three letters on this side, three letters on that side, but it's really not. It's towards the left side of the L. So what we did with the rubber band was we found the middle of the top and bottom of the sign. And then what I did was I measured how wide, how tall the letters were. And what I did was then I moved the rubber band down half of that length. So these letters were one, uh, two inches tall, just roughly two inches tall. And I measured the sign, found the middle, and then lowered the rubber band one inch below that. And then I marked it on both sides so the rubber band would go straight across. And this is how I'm going to get my straight line without using tape, uh, without using a ruler or paint or any of those things. We're just going to go ahead and stick a rubber band on there and remove the rubber band just as easy. So now that I have that all done to uh, dry fit it, you want I wanted to work on it upside down. So you saw me work on it upside down. I started with the center letter at that center point and I worked to the left and to the right. Now this is where Bianca actually puts on her Mod Podge um, after her two coats of paint and then she went ahead and when the Mod Podge was dry she sanded the letters away. Um, like I said I was out of Mod Podge so I just went ahead and I 
paint it over them with a dry brush, as dry brush as possible. Now, don't think, no, Jerry, I can't see what you have there anymore. Because then we're going to take a wipe, a baby wipe, a wet paper towel, a toilet paper, whatever you want to use. And we're just going to go ahead and remove some of the paint from some of the black letters. And just to get that effect that you're looking for, okay? I, I, everybody has a different idea of how weathered they want something to look. Anytime you open a catalog, some stuff is way weathered. Some stuff is like barely weathered. You go with what you like. I always encourage individuality here. Okay, I also stuck on the two little exclamation point marks that was inspired by Megan at um, Glue Guns and Roses. I'm not giving her a shout out. She's got more subscribers than me. <laughs> Just kidding. Hi, Megan. <laughs> um, so now I'm taking that wet paper towel and I'm removing some of the white chalk paint um, to basically sand with wet sanding, uh, wet with with with, with uh, like water and toilet paper. Or I keep saying water and toilet paper, water, tissue, paper towel, but this is a wipe. Now we're going to find um, two bunches of flowers that you like. You don't have to do this step. This is what makes it French country. If you guys have seen my home tours, you know that I have a French country bathroom with lots of toile on it. And that's what made me fall in love with this sign by Nicole at This Week's Nest. She actually covered this whole sign with the toile and then wrote the word to toilet and then wrapped it in jute, which was beautiful. But I wanted to do something just a little different, obviously. Um, so what I did was I found two patterns of bunches of flowers. So if you do ever have ever bought this wrapping paper, this uh, contact paper before, then you know that it sort of has a repeat like wallpaper um, and there's one bunch of like roses and then there's one bunch of whatever these are with the spiky petals I don't really know what these are do you guys know what those are let me know um, but then there's this bunch of roses so what I did initially was I broadly <laughs> cut out around the roses you want to cut where there's only white at first you can always trim back um, any excess flowers that are too long or too wide and you'll see we'll do that here in a minute um, but this particular group of roses actually had these long branches going underneath it. So if you want to cut something out of your deco decal or decoupage paper, you just got to cut really close to whatever flower it's going under, basically. Um, and then that's what we did. So I then took it and I turned it upside down and run it against the edge of my table because this is naturally going to curve like the contact paper roll and I really wanted it to lay as flat as possible so that I can get a good vision of how I wanted it to lay so all I did was I turned it upside down I put my I put it on the corner of the table held my hand on top of it and just pulled it a few times on that edge I think we've done that technique for something before but I can't remember if you guys remember put them in the comments so now I'm just taking my little scissor and I'm determining exactly what uh, flowers that I want to keep on the um, on the on the board and how I want to place them. So what I did was I basically went in with um, a very close cut. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect because again, maybe a hundred years ago it might have been uh, something that was applied to the sign. The uh, the art isn't always wasn't always painted on the sign sometimes the art was added afterwards or before or replaced often so um there you go so now as you could see well i'm going to put it on the board and then you can going to be able to see that it's a little bit too big for the space so all we're going to do then is we're going to trim it back um, and i'll show you how we're going to do that so what i did was i put the whole piece down try to decide visually how I wanted it to place and I noticed that there were a couple of extra branches that were going to go over the word toilet so I trimmed them off but I didn't throw them away um, once you decide what you want you need to cut away you can see we're going to add them now the great thing that I liked about this decal is it had the two pieces of wheat off to the left and nothing off to the right so I was able to take those two pieces that we cut off or two out of the three pieces that we cut off and I was able to attach them to the right side so it kind of gave the sticker balance so I want you guys to feel free to go ahead and play with these things you could cut out individual roses if you want to but I just wanted to go ahead and do that and as you see here as long as I cut the leaf that's going to go over the additional decal really really close to the leaf then it it's going to look like it was meant to be that way okay and then we're going to start with the big a big section peel back the backing lay it down 
do the sticker. We've done contact paper before um, and just pull slowly pull the paper as we lay the sticker down. And then we're going to add our little embellishments. We're just going to butt them up right to um, where I originally wanted them placed. So I put one there just to kind of balance that one wheat leaf. And then I put one there and then I left the last one off to the side for whatever. Um, now we're going to put one on the other side. I did, f I did, um, let me see, what was I going to say? Yeah. Oh, I didn't add any further antiquing to this. I'm repeating the same process for the bottom flower or the top flowers technically. Um, but I wanted to tell you something in the meantime. Um, I didn't add any additional antiquing to this. I didn't add any, uh, browning or gray color. I didn't add any black streaks. I just really wanted it to look like it was weathered. Okay. So after we're done putting these both flower decals on, then we're going to go ahead and add some more whitewash over it just to make them look like they're faded as well as the rest of the sign. Then when we're done with that, we're going to line it with black marker and then go ahead and repeat <laughs> adding some more white uh, chalk paint just to make it look more aged and weathered. So you can see the same thing with this other decal that I have had to trim back some of the pieces to add them to another section. Um, just basically make it fit your space and make it look aesthetically pleasing to you. That's really the most important thing I can tell you guys because you have to live with it so you have to like it. I should put that on a t-shirt. Um, okay. And then repeat the same thing. You're just going to slowly peel the paper back and then, you know, you have trouble and then it comes off and then you try again. <laughs> Finally, you get it. And then we're going to stick the extra pieces that we've removed um, off to the side just to give it that balance again. All right. And now the last, uh, the next step, excuse me, is to add that whitewash. I basically did not add any paint to this paintbrush. Um, what I did was I wrapped it in that wet, uh, that wet um, hand wipe that I put off to the side and then when I was ready I just dipped it in the dry cover um, the wet wipe basically made kept the, the the brush moist and then the dry lid basically let it picked up just enough paint to add some um, whitewash to it to basically age over the flowers and then take that same wipe that has some wipe and some actual paint on it <laughs> and just go ahead and brush off whatever you want to make it look. I, li I really liked the idea of getting um, paint around the edges of the decal uh, just to make it blend in even better. So what I do have here is that big fat sharpie. Again, this is an option. You could stop before the stickers. You could stop before the outlining. You could stop before the antiquing. You guys, I love when you personalize it and send me stuff. It makes me so happy. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and take this um, large Sharpie and I realized, oh, well, let's just keep going. Oh, wait, I did that corner already. Now, the one thing that I didn't like, oh, I'm adding the white paint. The one thing that I did like and didn't like at the same time was I, at first I tried to cover those two holes that originally held the sign to turn it the other way. But then I realized, you know what, a sign like this would have been tacked up, probably with holes in all four of those corners. So what I did was I decided to add matching holes to the other side and I'm going to tack it to my wall with just brad nails. Um, I don't have a tack to my wall with brad nails yet because the brad nail person is at work. <laughs> so that's it. Um, I love it. I want to thank, absolutely thank Nicole and Bianca D for inspiring me to make this and please go check out their channels. They're videos are in the description box down below. If you have any questions at all, don't forget to uh, leave them down there as well. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And when the little bell pops up, you ring that bell. YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video. And go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Give a thumbs up to the girls. And as always, you guys take care. God bless. And we'll see you next time. Bye.